Hello guys, today we'll talk about regular expressions and in this video I will show you how to use the regular expression in Java to validate a user input as a string. I will share with you some examples to validate the input such as phone number, address, username, a variable name, and a birthday, and much more. So uh, let's go and let's start together. The regular expression, as we mentioned, is a, a powerful tool in Java to help you to find some patterns in your input or in the text. And we have a powerful method in the class string, which is the matches that is accepting a regular expression and compare the string to this regular expression. So let's start here. I will show you all the characters and all the symbols that we can use with any regular expression and we'll cover those in some examples. So let's say I want to validate a zip code that entered by the user. So we can use for sure a scanner to accept input, but uh, to save time, I will just write some examples here and we'll see if this is matches the regular expression so and here with reg expression we want to enter the regular expression the regular expression will be entered as a string enclosed by double quotation so here i will start by saying that the the zip code is just digit so this is how to say it's digit and this is representing one digit but as you know with the zip code we have five digits so this is how to say five so in this example this is the example or the zip code we want to validate and this uh, is a matches method that is a method in the string class and here is the regular expression we have uh, five digits so let's uh, print the output and let's see what is the result is this a valid or invalid zip code so let's run and we'll see that this is a true now let's say that i by mistake did o instead of zero let's run and it's telling this is incorrect zip code you see that because we specify that this is a digit and only digit now this will not accept any letters or any other symbols and we'll reject that good so this is the first thing and we learned about digits now let's talk about an address home address and the example here let's say we have one two three four is the number of the home and the direction north and here we have whatever name is the street name now let's validate this again i will use the print statement what is the address i will do i will copy this address and let's try it as an example is this correct a valid address or not this is not the full address but just the street and the home number and here again this is a string so with a string i can use the matches method and here is the regular expression so what is the regular expression that is matching this address now as you can see here that the address is starting by digit so again we'll use the d but the d here one d represent one digit we want more than one digit and here we can say i can say four but some addresses or some home numbers are just uh, two three or four digits so that's why i will say plus so the plus here is another symbol in this regular expression language and in this regular expression i am telling that we have one or more the plus represent one or more so this is the first thing we have some digits then without any spaces here space i have a space as you can see here after the digits i have a space and then we have the direction here north i can say that sometimes the address is with or without the direction so if 
let's say it's first option is without the direction so i will say that a name will start with a letter a to z or we can have the a to z a to z upper letter which re will represent the direction north south east west and then we will have a space as we mentioned and then after that after the space we will have a to z upper a to z and then this can be uh, one or more character and here represent the spalled street so you can see that this is a true and this is a true statement let's say we have here let avenue so avenue or uh, st so i can add here another space and then a to z or upper letter a to z and here we can say one or more or we can say zero or more look at this here the star representing zero or more characters of this set so i can have one nothing no avenue or i can have more than a, a character two characters avenue the shortcut av or the full word avenue you see that so let's run this and we'll see that this is a correct statement you see that so if i replace this with sit read what do you think will this be correct or not true or false and let's run here is true so if it is just two letters st this will be true as well okay but here there is a space if i add one more space i have false because we have two spaces here and here we set one space so what do you think which symbol is correct is uh, do we have to use the star symbol the asterisk or we have to use the plus write it down in the comments below the answer is plus which represent one space or more here one space or more so run it's again true you see that one space or more so if i go with no spaces run it's still uh, correct if i have like this you can see that here we have a problem okay so this is uh, an example i showed you some symbols that we can take advantage of an irregular expression so uh, in the next video we'll talk more about more examples such an example validating a variable name validating a phone number validating a birthday and much more wait for the next video we'll talk about more examples about that thank you for watching and see you next time goodbye